Hi guys, welcome back to Kish and Tell. This is week five of the check-in and uh, yeah, I mean, what a great week it has been. Um, I got to go for a hike with my best friend Tara, which was so fun. And um, we went to a little place in Sunol called Little Yosemite and there were some waterfalls and we got to frolic and play in the waterfalls. We were responsible with the social distancing. We actually walked and stayed six feet apart. But apart from that, I, like, I stuck to my diet um, I did weigh myself and because I had, and I will, I will throw the weight up, you know how this works, I talk about my diet, talk about my exercise and then I tell you the result for the week. Uh, I had my cheat meal, so this was my first cheat meal and actually it really wasn't even that unhealthy, um, but it was like uh, two little pieces of garlic bread, like that, like cheesy garlic bread. Um, and then I had two buffalo wings. And then I had, uh, let's see, there was like a charcuterie board. Mm, but I didn't eat that much off that. Um, what else did I have in my cheat meal? I had a bit of calamari. Just gotta have a bit of calamari. What else did I have? Really struggling to think about it right now. Oh, I did have tiramisu. Mmm, so yummy. And then what else did I have? But basically, yeah, so what I did is I ordered like a handful of appetizers to share with my mum, my dad and my sister. And so I had like, you know, just little bits of each thing I grazed. Because the thing that I've noticed is I can't eat as much as I used to anyway. So I was like super excited. My eyes were like so big. They were like, I want to eat all the things. This is my cheat meal. And then I had the few little pieces of the appetizers I had. I was like, I'm so full. I can't eat anymore. And not to mention, I had been on a four mile hike earlier that day in the heat. So I was like, mm, I'm really not that, I'm not that hungry. Uh, but you know, there's always room for tiramisu, which I shared with my dad. And, um, and then I had a glass of wine, which was really nice because I hadn't, I'm not a big drinker, but I hadn't really drank um, since starting just this get uh, fit and healthy journey. But um, I felt like, you know, it, I had reached a goal and um, I thought I would treat myself. I mean, again, today we're like now back at it and it's like, you know, can't do that again until we reach the next goal. But it's always nice, it's something to look forward to. As far as exercise goes, again, just keeping on top of it, I have really been trying to ramp up my cardio. So as much as I hate using machines inside the house, i.e. treadmill or elliptical, I did utilize those this week um, just because it's been so hot here in California that go, going outside for a run, unless you go super early or really late, it's just, no, it it's just too hot, you, you can't. One of the days was a little cooler and so I went for a run with butters and I'll insert the B-roll here and uh, I got a new leash which ties around my waist and so as soon as I start running, he started running. But I have to be careful because he is 10 years old. So uh, he is not as sprightly as he once used to be. But it was kind of fun. It was like running with a 60 pound weight, um, which was interesting. So I definitely got a workout from that. And poor Poochie, he's still tired. <laughs> he's still tired from that one run <laughs> earlier this week. Um, and then I guess we, we should just uh, do the thing. <laughs> you know how it works by now. Drum roll, please. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. We are down four pounds from last week. That's right, we were 283, we are 279. So I think that that makes up for the week that I didn't lose anything because I basically lost four pounds. I didn't do anything different. The only thing that happened is my menstrual cycle ended, so that could have been bloating was a factor, but um, I I did ramp up my cardio, like I said, um, but really didn't change anything. And from our initial 
Uh, starting point of 291, we have lost 12 pounds. Two more pounds and that will be a full stone for my English counterpart. So I would say, oh you guys, you know what I'm gonna say. That is a result. <laughs> and uh, I am so happy. My mum had me go outside and pick up a 10 pound bag of onions and that thing was heavy and I lost that plus two. So I feel like, yes, it's changing. And as we sort of talk about that, right? Uh, that means that I have lost an, in like I guess 10 pounds is considered an entire dress size. So at this point I have lost an entire dress size. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. And every month I promised that I was gonna try on some clothing that I had worn in a previous video called Will They Ever Fit? And I will link that here. Um, and I would see how they are now fitting. So we are now gonna go and transition into the try on portion of that and see if losing 12 pounds has changed anything or anything is anything starting to want to fit a little better. Um, I have a feeling that the Holly Willoughby dress is going to be looking fire at this point, but uh, we will see. So stay tuned, let's roll into it. Okay guys, so this is the try on portion of the items from the video, which I will link here. Will they ever fit again? And so I have the exact same garments, the two skirts and the three dresses ready to try on. And um, let's get into it, let's see. So first there was this wool, blue and green plaid uh, Brooks Brothers skirt in a size 16. This is not a 16 wide. This is just a regular size 16. Okay, still having to pull it all the way up my waist. The difference is the zip is now actually going. I mean, it's on. <laughs> How exciting. It is on. It, is, uh, it isn't zipped all the way. Right here, you can see it isn't zipped all the way, but with a tug, that that could definitely be done. The only thing is, it is very, it's actually not even that short, is it? Oh, okay. Quite like this. So just give you a little, Okay, and you can see right here, I could close it if I wanted to, but it would be very tight and I wouldn't be able to breathe. So I still think we have another month to go maybe before this fits. So on to the next skirt. So this is the leather Michael Kors, again in a size 16, not a 16 wide. So this is not a plus size 16. This is just a regular 16 off the rack. I can zip it. It just doesn't look right because it's so high up on my waist, but it's on. It's zipped all the way up. So it's on, but again, still this I'm not loving, but you know what? Progress guys. This is a no scale win, look, look. I mean, I still have a ways to go. I think that this is like the next one, the next time we do this, this will fit better. So here is this dress. Again, definitely fitting a lot better, but still really tight here under the arms. It's uh, not as forgiving here. So I'm definitely feeling how tight that is, but it's on my body. I think it looks better than the last time I put it on, um, but again, still a ways to go before it fits how it looks in the initial picture you saw of me in this. So yeah, I'm really happy. We're in the right direction, guys, in the right direction yeah see downwards so guys this is as we expected fitting a lot better this month after having lost 12 pounds i'm still not sure about 
this pocket detail here. Um, I think it is adding extra bulk to an already bulky area. So I'm not sure whether I want to sew these up or not, but maybe in a month's time, we'll see. Um, but definitely not clinging as hard to the belly. Definitely looking a lot better. Um, but I think, like I said, one more month and I think that this will just be perfect. I think this dress is just so gorgeous. I would feel comfortable wearing this dress now, to be fair, but I think just another month and this will be perfect. So, ooh, look at that. So pretty. We still have a huge way to go with this one. But, you know, this is the the goal. So it needs to sit like that, but Yeah, that's not going to, that's going to be a while yet. But you know, it's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. I would like to see this in six months fit me the way I want it to. And if I keep going in the trajectory I'm going, then I think that this should be able to fit me by the end of the year. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually disappointed. I think that this is, it's getting there. I definitely felt like it was easier to maneuver myself into it this this time versus last month, so progress. Okay guys, so that concludes the try on portion of the video. And again, in a month's time, I will do the same thing with the same items of clothing and we'll see how they're looking. And if that means that the Holly Willoughby dress is too loose for me to wear, well, that will be a great thing for us to see from where we started. Um, but just as I suspected, the Holly Willoughby dress is definitely looking better. I'm still kind of a bit weary about the little pocket issue. I'm still deciding whether to remove the pockets and just sew it up all together because I still think around my belly it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to. Um, but I'm definitely seeing progress in the other items. But the black flowery dress, yeah, we still have a ways to go. <laughs> but we are plugging along. I don't think it will be long. I think, hopefully, my goal is uh, by the end of 2020, I will be in that dress. So we just, we keep plugging on. These no scale wins are just as important. And on that note, I will conclude this weekly check-in. Thank you so much for tuning in every week. Your support means the world. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that notification bell so you can see when I'm uploading. And please, please, please comment. I love to read your comments. They mean the world to me. And the other thing I ask is that you like and share this video with everyone and anyone that you know, because I want my health and fitness journey to reach a wider audience, and I want all the kishlings. So, on that note, I love you so much and uh, I will see you on Wednesday where I have something very very fun I know the ASMR one was very different for my current subscribership but um, I really wanted it was something I really wanted to try so thank you again for allowing me to flex my creativity so on Wednesday we are going to be back to having a fun video uh, a try on haul you guys requested it so it is here and uh, I will be posting that on Wednesday. So be sure to tune in. And until Wednesday, stay safe. I love you all my kishlings. Hugs and kishes. Bye.